see the my run is completed in a hundred iterations and I'm getting this so now we can go to the results and look at how they look like so we can go to the surface parameters and drop some surface parameters here in the flow simulation results so we select the environmental I mean the environment pressure for tube So for the boundary condition, So for the list of parameters, we select everything and for the faces, we select the environmental pressure for the tube. So it's going to be this surface here. This one. And you can see all the parameters for this surface is plotted here. You can copy these to Excel and use them later. So you can do the same thing for this plane. So you could have initially selected that plane, but that's another way. So, and you can export it, everything, export everything initially to Excel, but um, you can have a look here in SolidWorks. So let's, um, instead of that, let's do insert, uh, export all to Excel and have that, ha have that, have a look at that. So here you can see the project name, that face, and the parameters for that, the minimum, maximum, average, and bulk, and the surface area for that surface. And Comparing the values that they have, it's making sense. Okay. Now we can go here. Start another one this time for that face. It's already selected, so we can select everything, export to Excel, and now we have this one. For another plot, for another um, cross sectional area, so we can compare them. So that's how you calculate the values. At the outlet, so we have the temp the bulk temperature, three three five point six seven. Remember, it came in at three four three point two. 
we have the pressure, the velocity, so we can calculate the mass flow rate to, to double check that. It shouldn't be any different. Um, and now we can insert the cut plots and take a look at how they look, how the temperature distribution look along the length of the tube. So we essentially go to the cut plot and insert a cut plot here. And we select the right plane. Please hide. So the number of levels we can increase to 255. We select the contours of temperature in fluid or solid. We can we have the options. We select this at just minimum and maximum so the plot comes out properly. And set the minimum to 335. And 469. And the maximum we don't need to touch. It's good where it is. And that's going to be full length. It's going to be the tube. So now we go to the simulations result So now what I want to uh, what I want to do is just to show the plots um, the contour plots and across with a cross section. So I'm gonna have some fight with this guy. 
results. So if we go to tools, flow simulation, if we have it here, we don't have it here. So in the flow simulation results, flow simulation features. So to do that, I create a cut plot. So I'm going to rotate it around y-axis for 90, d 90 degrees. Oops. Uh, zero okay so for this section we want to take a look at how things are So now we repeat the same step. Oops. Oh, I guess the plot is in the wrong plane. Um, but now I want to the plane. I want to change it to the plane that I created. Sections. So in the right plane, contour of temperature and minimum and maximum and hopefully this should be good. Yes. Okay. Could you please properly fit this? Great. So now we have two contours. So if this um, lets me hide one of them. So now what you see here is the temperature inside the tube changing from hot to cold. The problem is we don't see the temperature variation um, in the shell. 
maybe if we adjust the temperature distribution to oh if we do another cut plot insert in not front plane but delete in the right plane okay contour of temperature then the mini change the minimum maximum to um, 280, 286 it should be 285.476 it shouldn't be a big deal this is for the maximum and <clears throat> I mean the minimum should be 283.2 okay it's not working that's the interesting news So essentially what's um, supposed to happen is you select the temperature, um, you increase the number of levels to the maximum 255 to capture the finest variations. Then what happens is um, you adjust the minimum and maximum and create a cut, uh, cut, plot, um, cut plot and then in the simulation in tools flow simulation and in the results section you create a section view and you go through that I'm not sure how it's mm, supposed to work exactly it's not properly working on my system so for now I save this it's taking too long so long story short you should be able to see the variation as we can see here probably because um, the temperature variation is too much we can't properly see this um, the scale is not properly matching for both sides um, now you've seen this you have a better understanding of what is going on with, with the simulation um, I'll try to fix this um, and if it's possible edit this video if not what happens is you need to um, work on this figure out if you can repeat this essentially and then if you can't you should um, come back to the next session with your questions if um, you were able to run it you should send me an email with your um, with your data and change the I will post this on Blackboard also, but change the inner um, liquid uh, from water, change it to gas, change it to air, and I want you to change the air temperature. So uh, it's roughly 600 degree C. Um, you can play around, I, uh, it can be a little bit up and down, doesn't matter. Um, you can put it 600 Kelvin and then run the simulation see how the temperature distribution is in the shell and in the tube and then send me that those results um, that's your assignment for next week and I'm gonna stop this video